but I'm doing what I need to do. So you know, now that I have, you know, I've, I've done that and proven myself, you know, now I feel like I have the right to talk and, you know, speak up when it needs to be. What kind of relationship do you have with, uh, with Reed and, and, and Wheatley? You know, can you give me an example? Like, how, how, how tight are you guys? Yeah, we're super tight. You know, Zachy Wheatley, I speak on him first. We're from the same area in Maryland. We've been tight since we were, you know, young kids. But, you know, also Jalen Reed, he was hitting me up before I even got to campus. We asked, like, man, where you coming? When you pulling up, man? What's going on? You know, because I came in June. You know, normally you have early enrollees, but I couldn't come because of my high school and their their rules and everything. But the moment I got here, we just been like this. All we all we all been tight and you know real close. So you know, and having that relationship allows you to go out there and play and have fun and communicate with each other, enjoy doing it all. So I think that's what allows us to be in the same room and have so much fun together. <laughs> if I could just ask two quick questions. Uh, asking a lot of you guys about the new video game. For the record, I play this stuff. Uh, I'm curious, first of all, with you, what one of your teammates do you like to be the most when it comes to the game? You say beat? Uh, to beat. Like, I mean, like, oh, like, hey, I'm big single and I run it 30 times a game. Like, user? Yeah. yeah. Like I say I use her on the D I don't usually really use it at D-line, but I usually use the guys in the secondary. But when I do use that dual Carter, I, it tends to disrupt a lot of plays. So I say him. He's a little dominant when you're using him. Okay. And what is your go-to play, whether on offense or defense? What do you like to call the most? I say I'm a big play-action RPO guy. You know, it's hard for guys to stop the RPO. They got to pick one to stop. So I think that's – and it's hard to stop RPOs in the game for sure. So I think RPO and then play-action. I usually come out first play with a play-action. I don't care if I'm giving that out, but I come out first play play-action. People expect to run, and I go over top, take the top off. So that's what I like to do as well. Online users against you got a no-no. It's all good. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Yeah, thank you. KJ, would you say this defense schematically is going to be a little unique given that Apple Carter's going to have a personal role? Yeah. There's plenty of safeties that you just you got to get your best eleven on the field. So schematically, they're almost going to be different defensive formations just outside of what the base is. Yeah, I think it will be. I think scheme-wise, you know, having Abdul Carter come off the edge now, that's going to be big for us. You know, you know, a fast guy like him, you know, putting pressure on the quarterback and allow us to make more plays. And then with the three safeties, I think that's going to be even even more amazing having you know Zach T. Wheatley, Jalen Reed, me out there, and then you, you know, just just from top to bottom corners and everything, and the scheme we have, the skies and rolling down. And stuff like that. I think it's going to be amazing. What can you say about defending against the run? Because tip, you know, typically the stereotype is going to be that oh, if you have more corners and safeties on the field at a given time, then you're susceptible to bigger run plays. So for yourself, for Jalen and Zachy, if you're on the field at the same time and say a four two five, you know, how are you still able to effectively stop the run just from a skill set that you three have? Yeah, I think all of our safeties can tackle like no other. You know, from Jalen Reed, Zachy, to me, I think all of us can tackle like anybody out there. And I feel like you know that's not going to be a leak in the defense. You know, we can cover and we can. Tackle and we a big point of our you know our attack and everything we make sure we focus on is tackling and practice and that's the main thing so we make sure everybody on the field can tackle so even if it's a corner out there in the slot uh, at that position on the safety I feel like no matter who's out there we, we focus a lot on tackling I feel like they're gonna be in a good position to make plays even in the run game. Do you hear a lot about the draft chatter that you're considered a, a top prospect in next year's NFL draft do you think about that or do you even hear about it at all what's your thought process when you hear a high praise? Yeah I hear about it you know obviously when I hear about it you know it's a blessing and I don't take it for granted. I appreciate it, but you know, I don't focus on it at all. That you know, as much as you, people can say, oh, it matters. You know, it matters this much, but to me, it doesn't matter at all. That's all off of last season. I have to come out this season, perform even better than what I did last year, and keep keep making plays, keep improving, and keep going up as I as I as, as I need to. You know, that's that's the main focus. I'm not focused on you know. I got to focus where my feet at. You know, focus on what this season, this camp right now. You know, I'm not worried about NFL. That that'll be there when it needs to be there, but. When that time comes, that time be there. Right now, I'm focused on you know being a great teammate, being a, a great player, and you know making my teammates better and going out there and getting wins. Okay, appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate you. Season. Thank you.